What kind of APIs do you use for testing? Do you use um, recipe APIs or maybe weather APIs? Have you thought of maybe doing something different? And if you're asking what I mean by different, well, have you tried having a look at Pokemon API or Poke API? The reason why I want to show you this is a lot of people practice REST APIs and it's perfect. It's nice. REST is out there. I love REST. That's why I'm REST to test. But you also need to be prepared for GraphQL APIs. And there are not a lot of GraphQL APIs that you can use for testing. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you this Poke GraphQL API and how we can use it. Now, in the URL that I'm going to post in the description, you're going to see the main page. You have a short description of um, what this is. Of course, it's a Pokemon API. It gives you information about Pokemon. And you have links for the schema reference and to the Explorer. You can either open them from here or from this sidebar. And once you are familiarized with the schema, so once you know what kind of uh, queries there are, what kind of uh, information you can get from this API, you can go ahead and just open the Explorer. Now, as you can see, we have directly a query, which is, yeah, we just do a query with ID. If we try to run this, um, it will fail. It will fail because, well, we're not actually uh, querying anything. We didn't add um, any any um, real um, method here to, to tell the, the API what to check. And how do we do that? Well, on the one hand, you have here on the left side, we have all of um, the methods that we can use in GraphQL. So for example, if we are to take the first one, ability, so and we want to add it here, we just say, um, we just give it the plus, delete the ID. So we give it the plus and it's, you see it's marked here that it was added. We can remove it or add it back. Now, in case this, um, method right here has certain properties that you can give it. So on the one hand, you have the arguments. Yeah. So for example, um, we can just say, um, I don't know, we give it a limit. And let's define here a limit of 10. Good. Now we give it the limit. And we want to define the fields. As you know, or if you do not know, I'm telling you right now, in GraphQL, um, in comparison to REST, you can actually define which fields you want to get back from the API. So on the one hand, you can say, yeah, I want everything, which wasn't a very good idea here due to this right here. Let me just remove it. Okay, let me remove everything. <laughs> And just add so you can add all of all of the fields from here or you can go one by one and say okay you want id you want name and i don't know is main series so now if i do run query i get this information if for example i do not want the id I just remove it run the same query without the id and i have the information right here so uh, we have the name and if we have the information, if it is or if it is not in the main series. And as you can see, the number of results is limited to 10. We can increase that limit by just changing here the, um, the value of limit. We run it again. And if we scroll, oi, oi, oi we do have now 100 rows. Good. Um, you, we need to have a look at this and to practice uh, in the query section. So the query, you can just change it and say, I don't know, test one. 
and run it, it will still run. You can add, let's see, you can add more complex um, fields. So let's see, we have ability names. And in the ability names, I'll leave it without any arguments. And I just need language and name. And let's run it now. Ooh. So now I have, this is nice. So I have the name of the ability. I have it if it's in the series or not. I have, and I have the translation of this ability in different languages. Now, unfortunately, I do not speak any of these languages. So please write in the comments if these translations are correct or not. Now, once you get familiar with the with GraphQL, or if you're already familiar with GraphQL, you can just start exploring and using this API. You can, as you see, perform um, complex queries. You can then verify its its status, and you can get comfortable with with uh, GraphQL. Besides having all of this nice documentation right here, where by simply clicking around, you get fields added or removed. You can also um, search the schema. So you can either uh, go in the schema and um, navigate there and see all the fields. But we can have a look here. So if we do ability, we see all of um, the methods that have ability in them. And if we select one, we, on the one hand, um, go in to the perspective or the respective uh, method or property. And we could, if you saw, let's do it again. So we search schema and we have all the information here as, as well in detail and also what this is. So ability ID, it's an integer. We see where it is used or where it can be used. So yeah, I, ability is kind of a central uh, property of a Pokemon, if you know Pokemon. So it's kind of used everywhere. But have a look at this. Write in the comments if you manage to find the um, method in GraphQL that gives you the name of Pokemon. And if you find it, write it in the comments and write also the name of your favorite Pokemon. As always, thank you for watching the video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, and bye-bye.